I want you to see something. Oh my God. I have never seen anything like that in my life. 30 years in this business, is that unbelievable? Now that's, that's bull An Irish bar without authenticity is like a sports bar without TVs or a nightclub without a dance floor. The fact is great Irish bars are authentic, like a bar in Ireland. They have great Irish food and great Irish drinks. No, I'll do wings, yeah? Yeah, we're gonna wings today, yeah? So there's Packy. He's our owner. He's our owner. So here's our kitchen. I don't see a stove. Food is an integral part of an Irish bar. Mm -hmm. The whole point of an Irish bar is you plant yourself and you stay for three, four hours. Of course. You can't stay for three, four hours if there's no great food. Exactly. exactly. All I've seen is chicken wings, which are not traditionally Irish. We got a problem here. Yeah. There's a wire. Get out of it. Check it out. He's not lying. I'm not kidding. Looks like they got some fruit flakes. Yeah. Oh, there it is. See it? I'm sure they're How's that one? How was that one better? He's just put the bottle back in the well. So he's prepared to serve that to the next guest. Sure. And hopefully get away with it. How do you do that to a customer? There's Guppy, bartender. Well, at least the Guppy's bigger than him, you know. Also, from Ireland. Life of the party. There's Colleen, bartender. You're very sweet. Thank you very much. And there's Summer, another bartender. Wow. He's pouring a half a glass. Oh, my God. That's not that's a like shot. That's like four ounces. Jesus. He's gulping four ounce drinks. Wow. Packy's in the kitchen all night long. Guppy's out there drinking, partying, having fun. It's going to be a debauchery night. Yay! How does he manage his business that way? He doesn't. He's hiding in the kitchen, and he's not facing what's happening outside. Guppy! I'm surprised he's walking straight, Guppy. Guppy isn't over drinking. He's drinking to the point that he's hurting himself. He needs to understand that and stop. So, guys, I got a great plan for recon tonight. You want to hear what it is? What's that? You. There is nobody better to do recon in an Irish bar than you guys. That's true. What you need, boys? I have to have a dry martini. I'll make you a dry, dirty martini. Perfect. Great. Perfect. Uh, do you want wings? Yeah. Yeah, two, please. Do you have anything else? Nah. That's it. Perfect. Wings. That's grand. Yeah, whatever you have. Watch out. He's going to put me to bed with that one. Seriously, that's a monster. What is it? Dirty martini. Oh. Extra dirty. Martinez look like that. It looks like a margarita for crying out loud. Oh, for sake. I mean, that's, uh... I'm just getting rid of the flies. <laughs> You're getting up with them on your dinner every night. Jerry, I want you to go behind the bar, take every bottle with bugs in it, and put it on top of the bar. Let's line them all up. There's fruit flies in the drinks. They're serving it that way, and they don't even care. I want to use tonight as an example of what is so wrong with this bar and every person in it. So how many got up there now? Nine so far. Nine so far, and he's just starting. Check that one out. Look at the bugs in this bottle. Oh, Jesus. Uh, oh, my god. Oh. This is the future of your family. Do you understand that? Yeah, John, I do. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. That's gross. Pretty much every drink you order tonight has flies in it. So you already blew this money. I'm just burning it a second time because you already did. So there's one of our recon girls. Giselle and Amy went in there, and I gave them smartphones mm -hmm. so they can take videos for us and really evaluate the business. There's Giselle. Looks like a rat just came in through here and just like completely ate this couch. And it's totally gum. So gross. This bar is disgusting. Everything's so dirty. And there's this rant smell of straight piss. How do they expect to stand up to the competition if this place is such a hole? Look at that guy right there swatting all the flies away. If I was them, I'd be checking my drink for flies. Anytime you see them around, that's... Oh, yeah. Oh, he just, he just found a fruit fly in that drink. And the owner is sitting right there listening to this. Does nothing about it. 
What's the matter? It's like three fruit wine. Can I have another one? That's funny. That's totally funny. Mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's only a couple now. Oh my god, there really is. Wow. He made another drink with more fruit flies in it. Can I have another one? Sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. So I just ordered this drink, which they had to remake three times because of the fruit flies that were in it. Disgusting. Look! You can actually see them. I can't sit here and let these people drink this. Yeah, that's gross. I've got people drinking bugs and an owner that's not doing anything about it. I can't sit here and watch this. Yeah. They cannot consume any drinks. They might get sick. These girls, what do you think of this place? I wouldn't come back here. Why? <laughs> Three margaritas, all had fruit flies. So you didn't drink your drinks? No. Did you get another drink? Three of them. Did that have fruit flies in it? All three of them. They even gave you a second chance and you blew it. This is your future, man. And you walk around like an idiot and do nothing about it. I've been busy just trying to, you know, keep things afloat. You looked really busy tonight. You sat on your ass at the corner of the bar, you drank a beer. Let's go to the bar. Come on. Give me a bottle with some bugs in it. See the bugs in there? Yes. Drink it. Whatever. Flies in a drink, you know, I'm sure I've had them before. Nobody can drink anything in this bar. It is totally unsafe. Shut this bar down. Clean it up. It's gone. I'm embarrassed, the fruit flies, it's disgusting, embarrassing. I think Mike dropped the ball on that. Hopefully John Taffer will uh, wake Mike up. All right, now it's time to drink, I guess. <laughs> My crew and I worked here literally all night long, cleaning and sanitizing this place. I want you guys to see some of the things that we found here. I had Rotorooter come in here to clean our drains. These are the drains right behind your bar. This is where you're mixing drinks to give to the public. Now he's gonna send a camera down your drain to see what the problem is. What are those things that are flying? Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are the worst flying insect in the planet. Kill over a million people a year. Carries bacteria, malaria, and diseases that'll kill you. That's irresponsibility. That's getting people sick. And that's why I'm pissed. But you ain't seen nothing yet. This came out of the ice machine. This is infested with bacteria and bugs. Gross. This is the efforts of your professional career. This is what you got to show for it. The sickle. It was beyond disgusting. Beyond I never disgusting. saw anything like this. And this is where you work every day. Have you been helped yet? No, I haven't. What did, can I get you? Uh, do you guys have any beers on tap? No, we have no tap. Let's go, guys. Move, move. We have no tap. We don't have no tap. We got beer. I know, dude. We have all. Uh, I know, man. It sucks. Big time. What are you, you good? What you need? Old fashioned on the rocks. Old fashioned. I'm going to get Louie on that one. Who wants to drink? Ask him for it. Let's go. Two old fashions? All right, let's do this. Three old fashions? Holy crap. She wanted three of them. Let's see how he does. I haven't muddled. I haven't done it all. Prepared it all wrong. Stop. 
this has to come out. Your hands can't go into okay, that. For sure. It's got to be pulled out. That yeah, way. yeah, that's pulled out sanitary. Yeah. We have an ATM. The ATM isn't working, Steve. So who on this side doesn't have a drink? Just you guys in the middle. You're doing OK. I mean, that side's done. Let's work the yeah. middle. Crazy, Bob. C is a pretty good bartender. And Christine stepped right in, too. The weak link is clearly Louie. So we're still making the same old fashions here. I don't have a well over here. <laughs> we have whiskey, we have simple syrup, we have a stir. How about a little smile there, Louie? There you go. <laughs> do five Z-bombs for this lady right here. I got the bear, you do the Z-bombs. This is more of an aged fashion than an old fashioned. Oh, hold on, wait, sure, hold on. Oh, hold this on. is a hot man, I know. I don't have a well, you see, if I had the well right here, I'll just set the eyes, you know? Complained there wasn't a well here, but then brought everything to make it here, and now is having to run back and forth. Excuse me, coming through, all right, guys, sorry about that. Bad? No balance in it, just straight whiskey. Give it a taste. Tell me what you think, guys. Five being the best, one being the worst. What do you give it? Three gets a smile. So if I didn't get him to smile, he would have gotten a one. Man. So I made it with love. You made it with love, but you still f***ed it up. You understand? <laughs> I'd like you to go down to the well and make three old fashions properly down there so now there's no freaking excuses. It's all on you. I don't know what he's smiling about, to be I, honest with you. No. Because if that was me, I'd be pretty freaking embarrassed. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it, hold it, hold One, it. One, two, three. Stop! <laughs> freaking bugs in this bottle. Oh my God. Rob, come uh, back here. We've been closed for three months, guys. Would everybody look in your glasses? Does anybody see bugs in their drink? Oh my God. That's my worst What nightmare. else has them back here? Bugs. Anybody drinking this? Stop if you are. Look at all this. Check the other back bar. You guys are pouring from those. Oh, this is a nightmare. And a few of you got a few bugs with it. Yeah! There's no systems here. There's an old cash register, no POS system. There's one speed well, there wasn't two. I've seen what I need to see. I'm actually impressed. They served almost everybody in a room and a half hour until the bugs came out. It's been a rough one, right? We have bugs in the bottles. We have no consistency. I think it's best we just shut it down now and get to work. If I can have your attention. I want to thank everybody for coming out as we do have some problems to fix though. I want to welcome everybody back. We'll get this right. We'll be on point even better than today. Bugs in the bottle, man. I was humiliated. Oh, that was horrifying. That was absolutely horrifying. I'm embarrassed. Hold the plug. They're waiting a while for any attention from the bartender. OK, so now we're at one minute. They have no drink. They're getting the bar wiped down. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Look at them staring at him, and nothing is happening. He could have said hello and asked them what they're having. Yeah. Even if you have a busy bar, you should always acknowledge the guest. OK, I get you guys. I'll have a strawberry margarita. Strawberry margarita. Whiskey cola. He made the wrong drink. That's not what she asked for. This is supposed to be a strawberry margarita. My bad. One second. I've already made like five margaritas today, so it's in my head. I've already made five margaritas is not an excuse as to why you don't give your guests what they asked for. He pours it in with the ice in a stem glass. And topped it with soda. What was that? And what comes on the sampler? Everything. <laughs> Robert. Oh, thank you. We'll order the sampler. I want to get the chili cheese fries, too. Look at them puckering up. Tasted like dirty dish soap. How's yours? <coughs> Mia is my expert mixologist. She is one of the best I have ever worked with. Mia, let's look around for a minute. My favorite part. There's just like gunk all over everything. Maria, you had a strawberry margarita. Yes. This is your margarita mix, your strawberry mix. It expired in August of 2012. Over a year expired. A year expired. We have traps for bugs. They're full. Look at that. 
so you can't even afford a professional exterminator? Wow. Bugs! <laughs> you know the drink that you had that tasted so terrible? That's why. That's where the soda gun sits. Rhyme and sludge, because it hasn't been cleaned. That's what you're drinking. Bugs. Bugs in the bottles? Come on! Even if you get straight whiskey, you're not safe in this bar. This is your business. This is your reputation. Here's what we do with this. That's responsibility. Do you understand this makes you a bad businesswoman? Does she have pride in this place? No, she does not have pride in this place. Larry, at what point do you pull the plug and About say that's 60 enough? 60 days. 60 days, so you got two months. Missy, you're gonna have to try a lot harder than you've been. Rod, stand up. Come here, Heather, come here. Why are you laughing? Is this funny to you? No. It's a nervous habit. How long have you owned this place? Well, about two and a half years. Why is this bar failing? Talk to me, Joe. Because the bar doesn't stand on its own. Any show, you're hoping that it does well. Well, that's great if you have a viable bar. Rod doesn't. So what you're telling him is his bar sucks. I am telling you your bar sucks, yeah. So the fact of the matter is, if we make everything about music in this venue, we fail. If we create a great bar that has music, we can succeed. But you don't get that. There's people here who have years and years of experience in the bar and restaurant industry. We've tried to tell you, try this, and you say, well, it's my bar. That's bull This is the That's first fine. time I've heard it. That's not true. You're a liar. Tony's a fool. I told him that in the office the other day, and I was, I was, I was like, you got to change, or, or I'm out. Joe, do you respect him as a businessman? No, I can't say I do. Glad. Let's come. What do you say? John, besides all the clutter back here, what pisses me off the most, can you uh, do me a favor and look into these bottles for me and tell me that you're serving your guest bugs? What? They're floating around. We can get a flashlight. You're not lying. No, I'm not lying. That's ridiculous. This is foul. It's bad. It's disgusting. And you don't even know it. I don't know that much about the bar business. But you've been in it for two years. <laughs> Stop drinking. Stop partying. And start doing something. Okay. Let's get out of here. This kitchen is infested with bugs, and so are the liquor bottles. Tonight, I expect Rod and the staff to clean this bar, so tomorrow I can train in it. The building looks completely abandoned. Half the letters are missing from the sign. When I'm looking at Headhunters, I just get this creepy vibe that something inside isn't right about this place. When we say something, it's an opinion. When the customer says it, it's a fact. Watch this. People that just walk in will be like, oh, Sketch city. All right, it's time to go to the next one. I was really sketched out, and I didn't want to go inside, and I'm never going back. That's scary. Not really my idea of fun. After seeing those videos, I am not comfortable sending you in there by yourself. So I'm going to go with you. Great. Let's do it. See you later. What is the smell? It smells like cat piss in here. A bar that stinks from cat piss. That's my start on this bar. Why don't you make her a drink? Sweet cheese sour? Yeah, I can do that. Is there something in that bottle? There's something. Wait, 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 wait. Come back here with that. Oh, I told them about this already. She turned that upside down, and there's something floating around in there. There's a cockroach in there. That's unacceptable. She was going to serve that to me. Look at it, floating in there. Oh my God. How many other liquor bottles are like this? At least I've two. Never seen one like that. Do you have a mixing glass? Look at it. There's one of them. Look at that, guys. That's a roach. That was disgusting. I'm out of here. I don't want to touch anything else or see anything else. I'm repulsed. You can't have that much filth and that many bugs in a place unless you just don't care. How often do you see a roach? Every day. A, lot. a few every day? A few every Probably. Day. Where do you see them? Do they walk across the bar? Yep. Yeah, we had them in our cash registers with our money. When people ask about headhunters, they're like, oh, that bar that smells real bad? That's us. And what does our owner say about this stuff? Nothing. I'd like to meet this guy. Where the hell is he? Hi, are you? Steve, John Taffer. Pleasure to meet you. Thanks for coming. Pleasure. Let's walk over here and talk for a minute. Sure, let's go. My wife orders a drink, the bottle's filled with a cockroach and bugs. 
Wow. The other liquor bottles are filled with bugs. The staff told me that they see cockroaches every day here. And here for a day. Cockroaches in bottles. Let's go ask them. Chloe? Yes. How often do you see cockroaches here? Uh, about every day. About every day. So your staff is pulling your liquor bottles. They're telling me there's roaches here every day. You don't see it? You don't know it? Chloe, why don't you tell me uh, about this? When why why are you telling you, him that, but not me? I've told you that we have a problem. You own which this is place. You're switched. supposed to know these things. There are no bugs in the bottle. Do you know this is happening or not? Yes or no? Do you know it? Do I know what? That there's bugs all over your bar. There's bugs all over Austin. There's bugs all over America. This is a college town. They don't want clean. It's not the culture. Austin doesn't like that. Is it a sterile, clean room environment? No, it's not. We're not in that business. You came down here to tell me I have roaches in my bar? I came here to With fix all... your bar, but oh, I can't I fix a that. bar when I'm pouring cockroaches out of glasses, man. I'm Come on. I'm impressed. With all the experience and knowledge you have in the world, you got all the way here to tell me I have roaches in my bar? I'm astonished. Really? Steve can't admit to anything. I tell him there's bugs in his drink, he says there's no bugs in the drink. This guy is filled with excuses and holds himself unaccountable for everything. That's gonna change. I anyway, know when I see it. I've been they are there. Either you knew it and you didn't give it Are you gonna lower your voice and talk like a it. man? No, because you're frustrating the hell out of me. I'm and when I talk to idiots, I get loud. I'm you live I'm amongst shocked. a mess of cockroaches. Shocked. shocked at your professionalism. You know what crazy, a professional man. is? Yeah. A professional is you don't serve bugs to your customers. Maybe you're the biggest bug. I'm responsible, even if Steve isn't. I've only got five days to fix this bar, and I think it's the worst bar I've ever seen. So I'm bringing my experts in right now, and we're going to work. Jesse's gonna walk the bar and see what other bugs and filth I haven't seen yet. And Joe's gonna come behind the bar with me and we're gonna see what's going on back there. There's mold everywhere in these ceilings. This place has never been cleaned. You see all that? That's all mold growing. I never noticed. Yeah. It's not connected to the ceiling, it's falling in your drinks. That's right. Which means you're drinking mold. Let's show what happens when a moron defends failure. This is what happens. Oh my God. There is about 30 cockroaches in there. Look at that. Seeing that many cockroaches was disgusting. Look at this, guys. Those are bugs. Those are cockroaches. He had people standing in the crowd looking at him with utter disgust, and he was still sitting there smiling and laughing, thinking it was a joke and that it was funny. It's not a joke. This is the livelihood of a good 10 to 15 people. You need to get angry at this. You need to be embarrassed about this. Take hey. accountability. John Taffer flew off the handle about bugs, so we created a drink after him called the Bug Bomb. <laughs> I am gonna get on the phone, and I am gonna fumigate this building tonight. You didn't have the balls to do it. I'm gonna. You didn't write the check. I'm gonna. I, your employees, Joe, and you, Jesse, are not walking back in this building until we can do so safely. And you, my friend, are an You're $300,000 in debt, and you better get your together or you're gonna lose everything. Landlord's gonna take your bar. Your wife is gonna take your freaking family. And then you'll get what you deserve. Well, you came here, you come here for a few minutes and you got me all... Uh... They've been here for a long time, am I right? Yes. Raise your hand if you think I'm right. Everyone. It's good to know. It's hard to respect him, isn't it? It's hard. Because your bar's a piece of too. You know how much I bust my ass here? I'm here all day, every day, all week. So the place is organized and clean and together? Of course. Oh, OK. Well, then we'll see about that, won't we? Let's see what we got, JP. There's a smell back here. I'm guessing this area has not been touched. Look at this. It's bacteria that's gross. We've walked two feet into your bar. And look at this. That's the bartender's job, clean. And it's your job to make sure they do. You're going to blame them. Because I can't do everything. You just told me you did everything. What else we got, Mia? I want to check some bottles. I'm seeing fruit flies. Four. We have fruit flies here? You guys flying around? Yep, got them here. Oh. There's a big one in this one. It's like a moth or something. Uh, 
How bad is that? I think this is the worst one that we've seen. This is dry vermouth. Oh my God. Dry vermouth should look clear. Anybody want to drink that? I want you to see something. Oh my God. I have never seen anything like that in my life. 30 years in this business. Is that unbelievable? Now that's that's bull. I checked all these bottles. This is a setup, because that, 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 that was clean. So we went out and caught all of these with little traps, right? Little traps everywhere. Then I peeled them off the trap and I put them in this bottle. You're a moron to even suggest such a thing. Come on, man! Bull you're gonna insult my intelligence and them. This bar is failing because of you. Because you don't do shit, but shit your family. Now let's get the hell away from this bar. This is disgusting. And when I get back here, you better be covered in because that's what you deserve. Somebody needs to kick that guy's ass. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.